What's going on guys? And yet another Bass Pro Shops unbagging. Let's check out and see what I got. One of the things in the bag here is a necessity. Polarized glasses. If you're gonna fish, you need polarized glasses. This helps you see um, and cut off the glare of the water, helps you see into the water a little bit better. Um, it's good for sight fishing or see what you're throwing your baits to a little bit more, stuff like that. I got these pair because it's got this side um, sunshade right there as well on both sides. Um, I can still see out of the corner of my eye because that's just like the glasses in front, except for it doesn't have that nice mirror um, what tone to it or whatever. But that's why I got these right here. A must-have along with a hat. I did not get a hat with this, but just wanted to reiterate, it's good to have a hat as well because if you cut down the sun, um, you're going to cut down the glare on the water. Let's see. Well, you guys know me. If Z-Man uh, original chatterbaits are on sale, I'm going to pick me up some. And it just so happened that I had lost both of my uh, black and blue, so I picked myself up a couple in a 3 8 ounce. was going through my lipless cranks, and I've been using the Strike King quite a bit lately. And I have read in some of the other... Um, lipless cranks that I have like the XPS version and stuff like that but I didn't have any red in the Strike King so I decided to go ahead and get me um, these are half ounce and these are the uh, red eyed shad orange craw um, there's quite a bit of red in here some it's, it's a little more orangey on the bottom but it's mostly red but it is called the orange craw again it is half ounce and I usually get a pair usually get a pair of a lot of the lures that I like just in case I happen to lose one. Got myself a couple of uh, XPS, I believe these are called the eggs. Yeah, XPS the egg. These right here, they, they go maybe dive down about two feet, roughly like that. Um, very, very close to the top of the water. Great for fishing over a lot of weed beds and stuff like that, thick weed beds where it's just under the water, maybe six inches or so. Me and my buddy and, and other people I know have pulled a lot of fish into the boat with these lures. Um, this right here is the, let me see, Fire Craw, and this one is the Texas Shad. So I already have a Fire Craw. It's a little bit more of a dark red, the old one that I have. Um, this one's a little lighter red, so I'm curious to see how that works, and I do not have one in this color. All right, so I got myself some P-Line. Want to try this stuff out, the CXX. Extra strong, abrasion resistant, extra tough, extra strong down here. 15 pound test in a moss green. It was recommended for me to try this. I was gonna try out some trialine, or not try out, I've always used trialine. But a guy recommended this at Bass Pro Shop at the counter. Um, said it was great stuff, he uses it all the time. We'll see. So I went ahead and bought it, it was nine bucks. Um, and let's see what I say the green moss so I'm gonna throw this on one of my one of my reels again it's 15 pound and I'm gonna use this for some walk the, walk the dog uh, type uh, top water here's something new for me it's the uh, let me see new jack flipping hook um, Aish Monroe this is a river to sea product um, it's his his design his series hooks I don't know if you guys can see that there, but there's a little bit longer of a shank there after the bait saver. I think that's crucial, especially when you're tying on a Snell knot. You need that little extra space to tie that knot properly. So I'm going to go ahead and try these out. These are in 3 out just for using some small baits, uh, punching through some of the heavy cover, um, lily pads, and stuff like that. So like I said, I'm going to try these out. I'm hoping that they're going to work hoping that this might be one of the last times I buy some flipping hooks. Um, this is a straight shank. I've watched a lot of videos lately. Um, when using the normal uh, worm hooks, 
you know, the wide gap worm hooks. Uh, a lot of guys are saying they're losing fish. So I'm going to have these. I'm going to try these out as well. I'm, I'm going to be doing a lot of testing of some of the different things that I bought this year for that type of application, uh, punching and stuff like that. So these I bought. One more thing I got in here. This is a brand new product at Bass Pro Shop. A lot of guys um, like it or they don't like it. It's a copy, it's not a copy, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. But you know what? I couldn't resist. This lure, um, the other lure, I should say, the original, uh, I don't even know if it was the original, but the one that came out from River to Sea, the Whopper Plopper, was a huge hit. One of the best topwater baits um, for bass that I've used. So Bass Pro Shop came out with an XPS Extreme Performance Series it's called the Double Down Plopper. It's got a prop on the front and a prop on the back. This one right here is the 1.1 ounce. Um, let me see. I think it's like, like five inches or something like that. It doesn't say on the package here. Oh no, 4.7. So I was close, 4.7 inches. They have another one that I think that is like 3.5. I would have preferred that one, but they didn't have any in stock. Looked like everybody bought them out. So I went ahead and got this one in the bone color, if that's what they're calling it here, they may not be. But basically, this is the this is the bone color equivalent to the Whopper Plopper. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this out and take a look at it. Kind of give you my first look review on it. All right. Some of the guys were complaining that it was cheap, cheaply made. Well, I don't know. That's going to be hard to say uh, until I start using it. It looks pretty decent to me. One guy said that he didn't like the hooks on it. Well, you know, he might be correct about that. But in the past, the XPS products, they've put some decent hooks on there. Um, I have XPS lures in my tackle box that don't have a spot of rust on them as far as the hooks go. And then I have name brand uh, products that do have rust on them, and I've barely used those products versus some of the XPS or XPC or XPS products that Bass Pro Shops brings out. So um, we'll see how this works. You know, you got your prop in the back, prop on the front. I am going to throw this on just to see how it works this weekend and kind of go from there. So that was my end bagging. Don't forget to check out the links at the end of my video. Thanks for watching, and as always, fish on.